Hey everyone! It looks like we have a new interactive doodle game art thing, so obviously I have to hop on and do a video about it. So this one is discovering the Mid-Atlantic Ridge Rift Valley with Marie Thorp? Thorp? Something like Marie that? Tharp was there a geologist is. and cartographer whose groundbreaking maps changed the way we view our planet. I don't even have to read things out loud, it's going to do it for me. Career, in the 1950s, much of the land on Earth had already been mapped, but the ocean remained a mystery. It's like that whole thing we know more about space than we do about our own oceans. Scientists began to study it using the newly invented sonar. They pinged the ocean floor and used the bouncing sound waves to calculate depth. Boom. Click to ping the ocean floor. Ooh. You could just like spam it. Good job. Now we can see the depths of the ocean floor. Cool. In those early days of Marie's research, boat captains were superstitious about having women on board. So Marie's mapping work depended entirely on reports from her colleague, Bruce Hazen, and the rest of the research team. team Using efforts. Bruce's data, Marie drafted height profiles of the Atlantic Ocean floor. She loved the art for this. To interpolate areas where data were insefficient. We've switched voices. Oh. Connect the dots to help Marie fill in the estimated floor height map. Okay, let's go. <laughs> this is cute. I don't know what the. She filled in gaps in the data as she mapped and was able to get a clearer picture of the ocean floor. Connecting dots for a living. That's what my dad does for a living. Or at least he says. Ooh, and that turns into that. After analyzing the data, Marie realized that all of her height maps showed the same dip. There must be a rift running across the ocean floor. Bruce was skeptical. A rift indicated continental drift, an unpopular geologic theory at the time. Oh, but one that would become so extremely he popular. So erased Marie's work and instructed her to redo it. <sighs> Marie went back to the drawing board. Connect the dots to help Marie fill in the estimated Okay, so we do it again. It's still the same. There's still a rift. You can't erase what's there, guys. It doesn't work that way. As she mapped and was able to get a clearer picture of the ocean floor. The second set of data still showed the rift. Yep. Who would have thought? Howard Foster had been mapping earthquake activity in the same area, so they decided to overlay their maps. Swipe to overlay the maps. Okay. Ooh. Ah. Yep. Look at that. The Proving patterns theories. matched. Even Bruce was convinced the rift existed, and so did continental drift. Neat. Marie and Bruce began publishing papers and giving talks about their discovery. But the scientific community remained unconvinced. For proof, skeptical scientists turned to the newly invented underwater camera. Fun. They were going to uncover the truth about the ocean floor once and for all. Can't deny it if Does you can Marie's see rift it. really exist? Use the arrows to help find photographic proof. Oh, look at the cute little fishies. Can we just take pictures of fish instead? There's a starfish. Where am I? Oh, that's that's a thing. Do to do. Oh, I found it. There's the rift. The rift really <laughs> did exist. Video nice. evidence undeniably showed the existence of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and its rift valley. Okay. The critics had proven themselves wrong, and the scientific community finally believed in Marie and Bruce's findings. Nice. Marie continued this work for the rest of her life. Our intricate maps fueled a paradigm shift in our fundamental understanding of our own planet's history. Marie's work paved the way for research on plate tectonics that still continues today, shedding light on how the Earth moves and changes over time. And it also helps us to map out earthquakes and stuff, which has saved countless lives, which is really cool too. 
I had a blank canvas to fill with extraordinary possibilities, a fascinating jigsaw puzzle to piece together. It was a once-in-a-lifetime, a, a once-in-the-history-of-the-world opportunity for anyone, but especially for a woman in the 1940s. And that is the Marie Thorpe little mini interactive video and game. I thought it'd just be fun to do a video of it because I love when Google does interactions like this. And to show I appreciate it, I like making videos on it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed learning a little bit of something about history through a fun little game. Uh, and yeah, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye! Oh.